Whatever makes you uncomfortable is your biggest opportunity for growth. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today, our friend Isaiah Hankel talks with us about the importance of developing and maintaining a growth mindset. Enjoy. If you failed in life, it's because you didn't work hard enough. Forget about all the negative people and situations that have come against you. These things don't count. You don't have enough time to get up early and work on a personal project. You don't have enough money to take the trip you've always wanted to take. It's your fault. If you want to do more, work harder. The end. You might think that this perspective is limiting, but in reality, it's the best perspective to have in terms of increasing your rates of growth and success. When you base your achievements on your efforts alone, you open yourself up to rapid growth. Instead of being a victim of your external circumstances, you'll know you can change your circumstances. Instead of believing your abilities are fixed, you'll know that you can improve your abilities. The only way to keep improving your life is to maintain this kind of growth mindset. Studies show that people who believe their abilities are fixed or that they can't control their own future are more likely to get stressed out, have chronic anxiety, low self-esteem, and even poor physical health. The only way to take control of your life is to believe that you have control over your life now. You can affect your future for the better. Just a few years ago, I had never been out of the country. I was 30 years old and trapped in a small town. I used to sit at my desk and and sneakily look at pictures of Australia and Europe and other places in the world and plan imaginary flights, places that I wanted to go and see. And by 10 a.m. every morning, I'd have 20 different tabs open on my browser all full of flights I wanted to take, hotels I wanted to stay at, and places I wanted to visit. And then my boss would walk by and I'd quickly close down all my fantasy tabs. I dream of taking these amazing trips and then I'd get resentful for not being able to go. I think about all of the unfair circumstances that were against me. I was born into a family without a lot of money. I was too busy to get a second job and start my own business. I didn't have enough friends or the right connections to travel to make anything happen for myself. Then one day I realized that this limiting mindset is what was keeping me stuck. Once I traded in my limited mindset for a growth mindset, things started to change instantly. Now I've been to over 30 different countries and plan on going to 30 more. Look, the only person who can take responsibility for your life is you. You're not responsible for the bad things in your life, the obstacles, the negative people, the negative circumstances, but you are responsible for how you handle them. You're responsible for two things that you can always control, your attention and your attitude. By having a growth mindset, you can open yourself up to opportunities that are already there. Here's how. First, have unreasonable expectations for your future. The most important part of making positive things happen is expecting positive things to happen. This kind of positive expectation does not come naturally. It has to be developed. Too many people complain when things are going bad and apologize when things are going good. In bad times, they focus on their problems instead of focusing on solutions. And in good times, they walk on eggshells, waiting for the good times to end. If you expect bad things to happen, they will happen. If you constantly worry about what might go wrong, things will go wrong. Worrying is not a positive action. It's not some kind of moral sacrifice that will prevent bad things from happening either. People worry because they're either too lazy to prepare or because they don't believe in themselves. If you want to rapidly change your life for the better, stop worrying. Stop fearing negative what-ifs and start expecting and preparing for positive things to happen instead. Second, ignore friendly advice. Look, unsolicited opinions are worthless. It doesn't matter who the opinion comes from. Its value is zero. The only thing that makes an opinion valuable is if you want it, understand it, and can apply it to the right part of your life. Too many people falsely believe that other people know more than they do. These people tell themselves that they should always be open for criticism. Look, more than anything else, other people's opinions are holding you back, 
and keeping you from taking your life to the next level. Stop passively taking in unsolicited advice. Your mind is not a garbage dump. Don't fall into the trap of listening to other people about how you should live your own life. Instead, get to work mapping out what you want, how you want to live, and who you want to be. Third, seize opportunities before you are ready. What is your idea to execution turnaround time? For most people, it's far too long. When the majority of the population sees an opportunity, they imagine themselves seizing it, but then hesitate. They take a step back and start to look at the opportunity realistically. Is the idea safe? Can I really execute it? What will other people say? What could go wrong? On and on they ask these debilitating questions. Here's the problem. Learning about an opportunity and determining how safe an opportunity is does not take you any closer to seizing it. If you wait until you are no longer intimidated by the opportunity, or if you wait until you know everything there is to know about it, you've waited too long. Big opportunities go to those who act before they are ready. Be willing to fail before others. Be bold. Be willing to seize opportunities before you are ready. Do this and you'll live a more confident and focused life. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.